do you speak Chinese? <laughs> I'm like, no. If you see me in person, I don't even look like a Chinese pad. And they'll be like, do you speak English? Can you give it to the person that speaks English and stuff? And some of them will just be rude and they'll be like, just give it to someone that speaks English and stuff. Hey guys, welcome to my channel today. So today I want to, um, this is going to be a really short video. So I want to make a video on when I stay in um, working in the u.s as an international so when i started working in the u.s i started working in the customer service as a customer service representative stroke sales so when i started and um we went through training for two weeks and everything everything went on well this was a bit hard because i was working in um 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 let me see eddie bauer um, corporate office I wasn't working in like a retail store it was in their corporate office so would basically like speak to their customers and resolve issues and everything and some customers would be really sweet they'll be really nice to you like they would be like oh how are you doing and stuff it everything will be resolved and everything well some would just be hard and they'll be like do you speak English can you give it to the person that speaks English and how about like years I speak English I've been speaking English all my I've been speaking English all my life and stuff and some of them would just be rude and they'll be like just give it to someone that speak English and stuff while some of them would ask me do you speak Chinese <laughs> like no if you see me in person I don't even look like a Chinese person I don't speak Chinese I'm just Nigerian and I have a different accent and everything and there are times to be overwhelming it was really nice though but any day you have a bad day the bad day is always really bad like you can speak to like 50 people and everything will be so nice and interesting but when you speak to that one person that is a sadist the person will just spoil your day and stuff like that but then we survived I lived and stuff but the most important thing is just confidence like you speak english they speak english you don't have to like speak in an american accent or british accent to do whatever you want to do your accent does not define your intelligence or your smartness or if you can resolve issue i've seen a lot of people that try to change their accent like by force and just because just because they feel like they are different but i'll be like if your accent is, is going to change let it change by itself don't force it because it's actually funny to me when i see people trying to change their accent like when you see an african for example trying to use the american accent it's funny to me and i laugh at them i'm sorry i laugh because it's funny to me but when it comes natural it's just natural and i just feel like it's better than way it's, it's better that way instead of trying to force it and stuff but like that's just a short video i have to share with you guys today and after that i'd also worked um other places to where i had to um speak on the phone and stuff like that and i get funny comments like that but the one that cracks me up most is the do you speak chinese like really <laughs> so um do you speak chinese is like the funniest so far like the funniest so far because i don't even look chinese at all and stuff so like at times it can be intimidating though like when keep people some people can be like very rude and be condescending that they measure your accents with your intelligence and they don't even want to listen to you at all those kind of people can be really hard to handle at times and um those times i just transfer some of them to be to the supervisor and stuff but a lot of the time i try to like encourage myself and tell some of them i speak english i just speak it in a different accent i just feel like there's no shame in having a different accent that's a mistake some i think like some people make they kind of feel shy and intimidated just because their accent is different and they don't want to do anything they don't want to talk or anything i repeat myself as much as i can like if you can hear me i repeat myself like even if it's 20 times because i just feel like my, there's nothing wrong with my accent there's nothing wrong with me speaking english in a nigerian accent so yeah i speak english so yeah so that's just it i just decided to make this video i feel like that there are people out there i can encourage with this video there are people that they actually don't want to talk or they feel really quiet because they feel like their accent is different or they won't hear them like speak girl speak guy speak boy like speak out you speak english that's the most important thing some people don't even speak this language at all and they have to learn and here you are you can speak it just because your accent is different and you decide not to speak it like when you are in a difficult situation what are you going to do it's like you are limiting yourself you are going below what you are supposed to do and stuff. don't let it stop you don't let your accent stop you there's nothing wrong with your accent and don't force it to if 
the accent is not coming speak with your nigerian accent with your Ghanaian accent with whatever accent you have and with time if you really like oh so i've been talking with this tag here guys i'm not returning it back to the store don't think i'm returning it i i filmed a video about like haul that i did so yeah i still have the cloth on i just said to make this video so like whatever accent you have like just speak with the accent and with time if you like to change it will change if you don't like to change it's okay to like speak whatever speak however you like and um i'd also worked in another place where like some of them don't even want to listen to me and i had like a difficulty with one customer like that and I was actually trying to help this customer. If you've ever shopped at Eddie Bar before, you would know that when you buy something from there, even in the next five years, you can always reach, return the item. That's one good thing about buying things from there. Their things can be a bit pricey, a bit expensive, but no matter how long you've purchased from them, they refund you your money back to the present value of the item. And um, if they had sale, for example, if, the, if you buy something, for example, like last month or last two weeks or three weeks ago, and maybe today they now have like 90% off or 60% off as a customer you can call them back and say oh I got this thing for 80% off last week I'm sorry I got this thing for 50% off last week and I noticed you have 80% off can I have the remaining 20% off so you can get it so there was this woman that was trying to help so she called back and she was trying to buy something and then I was trying to help her and I was like ah do you know you can actually get because she bought something and I think she was trying to get more of that thing also I can't remember what really happened and I was telling her that oh that do you know you can get um percentage some percentage um some um price discount off from what you had purchased before because like they have like 80% off on this thing again and then this woman just got mad and she was like um do you think do you think i'm not smart this is i don't know you guys are trying to cheat me i was like no we're not trying to cheat you but then this is something i'm just trying to tell you do you think you're... and i was like i was like oh ma'am like there's no way i'm going to cheat you i'm trying to help you this money is not going to my pocket this money is not coming to me so there's no way i'm going to cheat you she just got mad she was like what do you mean kemi what do you mean kemi do you mean you're trying to say i i are you, tr are you seriously telling me that this money is not going to your pocket yeah i was like oh no ma'am i'm really sorry i don't mean to be rude i don't mean to speak to you in this particular way i was just trying to say that since this money is not going i'm just trying to explain to you that this money is not going to me and because of that i can't cheat you because the money is not going to me and she just got mad can you give it to your supervisor i was like okay that's fine i called the um like one of the supervisors the hotline actually not supervisor i called one of the hotline and i spoke to the person okay you can transfer and then when i went back to her and she was like um are you still going to help me on some on the um 20 percent half of level i was like um no you can just speak to the supervisor because i don't want her trouble i don't want her so i wasn't even i wasn't even willing to help her anymore i just thought like okay just speak to the hot to someone in the hotline and i just transferred her and then I was like, God, what kind of person is this and that? And there was this case too when I was working as a recruiter too. Because when I was working as a recruiter, normally you do interviews, you like interview people and stuff. Like we do video interview. Most times we do video interview most times. So so we just interview people about job. Oh, I think it's my camera. So we just interview people about job, ask them questions, ask them for misdemeanor or felony. So there was this guy I was supposed to have an interview with. And next, I just saw this guy wearing boxers alone and he was like flirting with me. And I was like, we're supposed to have an interview today. And blah, blah, blah. And she was, he was like, oh, I didn't know that. And stuff. I was so, it was so uncomfortable because this guy was on his bed and he was like flirting <laughs> like that but anyway so that's all i just have to share with you about working in the u.s as an international student working in the u.s as an international person um uh, my encounter i can't remember all that stories but that's just the short story i have just um people just being right condescending towards you or feeling that you're not smart while some people will be very appreciative i remember one particular woman she was like don't ever change your accent i really love your accent and i was really like i really appreciate people like that i don't i don't I don't know why she said it. I don't know where she's from. I don't know what country she's from. But I know she had, she has an American accent. But I was appreciative of her that she recognized that there's a value in retaining your accent instead of trying to like change. There's nothing bad in your accent changing when it changes naturally. But trying to force it to change, I feel like, I don't know. I just feel like it doesn't. I just feel like 
it's to me it shows a kind of um low self-esteem or something like you feel like your culture is not good enough your accent is not good enough and stuff like that so like i really appreciated that she said things like that and i'd also like spoken to other people over the phone that they were really nice to me and stuff but people that weren't nice they were like 10% or 20% but that 10% is going to spoil your day speak to 60 people one person that is bad as in one person that is rude to you and mean to you will spoil your whole day i'm not even joking that's the reason like when you call when you speak to people like customer service always recognize that they are just working for the company they are not the one manufacturing the product at times you have to be gentle with these people don't be rude to them i have seen people that are like rude to people they speak to like customer service or because you notice their accent is different and you just conclude that they don't know anything like try to be gentle on people like when you need to resolve your issue i feel like a lot of people are going through things you don't know what they are going through you don't know if they're having a bad day and then you just speak to them on the phone and made them feel worse about themselves like i feel like in a little way we can always um spread positivity into the world we can always embrace people through the phone even without seeing them physically so i would just urge us to be nice to people like when you speak to people on the phone just try to be nice to them i know some of these customer services some of them can be rude or something but at times like you can feel it through the phone when you notice someone has a cool voice or like they're just being nice or something just try to be nice to them things like that all right thank you so much for watching my video today hope you enjoyed this video i enjoyed filming this video I don't know if I didn't say something or I didn't cover everything I needed to say. I just needed to make this video really fast. Alright, thank you so much for visiting my channel today. And if you are new to this channel, my name is Social Kemi. I make talk video, fashion video, all videos and different, just whatever comes to my mind. Don't forget to support me by subscribing. Subscribe to this girl's channel. Don't want to see me again. Huh? Alright, thank you so much for visiting my channel today. And do have a great day. Bye.